Good morning, YouTube. This is Pacifist with another game of Summer Max episode three. I believe it's called the Mole, the Mob, and the Meatball. <clears throat> Let's see what this episode entails and what's in it for us. Right, without further ado guys, let's get it, let's go. I decided to actually just use my headset mic because for some reason I started thinking, do you guys want to have like hearing better quality of the sound? Which is uh, my uh, standing mic, but for some reason it captures some sort of uh, robotic -y sound, echoey sound for some reason. I don't know why. It's only OBS, it must be my settings. Hiya, which I understand. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing or would you prefer Hiya. crapper quality, sound quality wise, like my voice wise? But it's clear, as in like, don't hear the PC Hello. fan, you don't hear some echoey sound and stuff like that. But I sound a bit different than my usual voice. Which is my headset he the microphone. Yes, but he said to stop carving just put like, comments in the, uh, your, your thoughts and feedback in the Forget comments the below. We're after the most I feel like I should use my headset. But the so don't hear no background line. noises, which the is quite off-putting. No but I sound a bit different. The same. I love those guys! The commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. I think I just use my uh, standing mic when I'm using Discord oh with my friends when well, it's not we play to be games together. Because obviously they won't hear the robotic voice because it's something to do with OBS. The undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. <clears throat> Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Because I don't, I think uh, if you guys hear the humming sound, it's a bit off button no on the PC. And to find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase, does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, well, I never, then smack me across the face. Sounds great! Let's do this! Okay, I guess there's nothing really we to do right here. I'm just going to go to the answer phone again and see what happens. This is yourself. Don't forget to listen to the answering machine messages. And get Max a smack from me. <laughs> Alright, okay. Let's see anyone in the live. Is it the same person? Hello? Jerk! Yeah, it's the same person, so we'll keep saying jerk. Let's go outside. Where the boss goes. Hey, Bosco. Nice flapjack. Son of Cordon Bleu. <laughs> He's French <Please>. now. <laughs> <Bye -bye. laughs> hey, guys, it's me, Bosco. <laughs> <laughs> but you may call me Jean-François Sissipans, the cowardly French anarchist. <laughs> this is borderline racist. <laughs> All right, okay. So, Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. <laughs> no! The Mafia, the Toy Mafia, they've got it in for me. Yeah, I think it's only the Toy guys. Mafia the whole season. But yeah, we'll see. What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the Toy Mafia committed against you? Nothing, yet. But I know what they are planning, and it is terrible. Are they planning to tie you down, tape your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? Well, not that bad. I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver something to my star. Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. But it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my store. Or my name is not Jean-Francois Sissy Pants. <laughs> but your name's not Jean-Francois Sissy Pants. They don't know that. What's keeping the toy mafia from making a delivery? 
Well, for one, I am watching Oe. They will never sneak past me. Yeah, just like Wizard couldn't sneak past you. And two, even if they do get past me, I got a fail safe. It's the greatest invention the world has seen since beef had. I call it the Bosco Tech Anti-Delivery System. What's the acronym for that? Uh, also BTAD. It is BTAD's Pot D! Pot D, you know. <laughs> How does BTAD's Pot D work? First, is the anti-delivery camera. It keeps a massive photo recognition database of every inconvenient item I stock. How completely impractical! If anything gets placed in the store that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the street. Vive la France! Vive la France! We want to buy Let's see what's on for sale this time. Monsieur. Monsieur, Monsieur. Monsieur, okay. What do you got? Ooh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Basco Tech innovation. A device non parel on chocolate. Is that good? Oui, oui. This I call a miniature listening device. It can fit in any cravat under any chapeau. What's it do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. How much is it? It's a combien, monsieur? We'll Monsieur Bosco, or John, the price is Francois, million Sissi Pants. Ten million? Ten million? Wait, it's that's getting more and more. Crazy fake French dollars or ten million in regular dollars? Regular fake dollars. <laughs> dollars the market tell. is bearish on crazy fake French dollars. The francs rip francs, no more francs. They use euro now. Okay, okay. Nothing for us right now. <laughs> Jean Francois Sissi Pants. Okay. Does the carpet match the drapes? No! And you know why? Because the man doesn't want them to. He's threatened by their potential unification. Mm. <laughs> this is so funny. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? <laughs> Soon. There is no one. <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu! I could do this Come all on, Migo, day, is and I intend to. See you later, Bosco. I oh, know wow. not this Bosco of whom you speak, but if I see him, I shall bid him a reservoir. <laughs> reservoir? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game never says. Never ceases to amaze me. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, what do we do? Where do we go? Okay. Oh, I want to see that skip, but uh, not skip. Sorry, uh, trash. That dumpster, I guess. Anything over here? Cabinet. Bar cabinet. The rat. Anything inside here? Oh shit! The Brady coat. Oh. These are like some sort of mementos that we got from. It makes for an unwieldy. On my case. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. First case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved nice. him nice. off him. Good times. What is the ace of spades? Hey, ace. An extra card up your sleeve and never hurts. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to. Well, we're going to a casino, right? So it makes sense to dump the mutilated corpse in an empty field. There's bullets around yeah, here. Except then. Is there anything else? Jimmy Two Teeth Fence. What's this? Jimmy Two Teeth Fence. It's a sad day when hardworking rodents have to make their living as a freestanding form of enclosure. Uh, I think that's fence in the buys and sells stolen goods sense of the word. Beat it! You're getting in way of my customers. What customers? <laughs> uh, I think everything else looks the same. Whee! Okay. 
Oh, fair go. Since we've got the casino kind of thing, right? So it makes sense to pick up the cars. Okay. Now we go to uh, La Voiture. We're going to maintain the uh, French uh, theme. Let's go to the Teddy Bears Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Oh, I'll stop with the French accent, guys. Don't worry. It's so cool. I love the French accent on guys and girls. Welcome to Teddy Bears Mafia Free Bienvenue. Playland and Casino. Ha! That face. My name's Lovey Bear. That's that blue bear from episode two, right? But this one's yellow. Games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying mm -hmm. welcome, and go spend a lot of money. You look really, really familiar. Holy domesticated ursins, Max! Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes, or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. You give tokens to first-time customers? That's but you can hear us, though, see? On. Enjoy. Live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. 13 hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the VIG, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then. I hear you have a mole problem. Hey, it's a genetic condition. You should have seen my father's back. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. First time that's ever happened. <laughs> Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. Does the carpet match the drapes? If Don Ted E. Bear says so, they do. Don Teddy Bear? I thought this place was mafia free. That's right, kiddies. 100% mafia free. No mafia anywheres. Come on. But that Chris. suit, I don't know. You could have fooled me. We're looking for somebody who works here. Look, I just greet the guests. You want to know who works here? Talk to Don Ted E. Bear. He's in charge. Where's the Don? He's got, uh, business in the back room, you know what I mean? What business. Kind of business? Mm. Yeah, <clears throat> the kind of business that gets said like it's got quote marks around it, so as you know not to Forget ask. about it. Thanks, Lovey Bear. Enjoy, <laughs> and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. So what's this whack? The rats. Look, Max, it's a beloved carnival game with a delightful... Oh, shit, there's rules. a rules on the side. What better way to relax than by offing fake rodents in the most violent way imaginable? No, please supply your own firearm. We always do. Insert token to play. Okay. The rest of the token. Let's read this again. These rats are gonna pop up, see? The, the, the rats, rats keep his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head. Cause a misdrive and win a souvenir magnet. Okay, let's win a red magnet then, guys. And set tokens. Whee! Wreck the rats. Insert token to play. Yeah. Oh, you need to. Yeah. Nah, I may need them for the. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I'm in pain. Oh, you can see my UK aim low. <laughs> Hit 20 to win. Oh, shit. How can we not? Alright. Waste him. Sick him. Oh shit, he missed that one. Oh, 22! Poggers! My high school guidance counselor was right. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look, there's the prize! As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. Hey, 
Hey, let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead. <laughs> oh, you really know how to find the right side of everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something. Easiest caca of life. Uh, I suppose you get more than 20, I don't know. Bit, I was a bit slow towards the end though, but you know. Urban bear No mafia. <laughs> okay. Days and weeks and tokens to spend. We're just regular businessmen. Just you and me and Teddy Bear. That's quite cool. A back door though. God, buffet. Oh my gosh, no buffet feels bad, man. Like it's one armed bandit. Slot. Oh, there's a clown. Teddy Bear's original meatball sandwich. Oh, marinara. The original Teddy Bear made this meatball, marinara. meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. <laughs> that is one shiny nose. Almost as shiny as yours! Keep it up and you'll get a shiner too. <laughs> can I get anything second shit? No. Oh magnet on it. A magnet wouldn't look good there. No. Oh. Uh hate of space? Oh. Wow, it sticks. Why do we do we do that? I mean we can't get it back now. It's a gig no we fucking lost. Oh god. Oh there's a green bear, a dealer. Let's play some games I guess maybe. Whee! Hello dealer. Hello there, freaky bear head wearing. Okay, he went all the way around, okay. Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Wanna play cards? Uh, does the carpet match the drapes? Does the carpet match the drapes? Wanna play cards? We asked first! <laughs> he... <laughs> Wanna play cards? <laughs> See, like a rib or something. <laughs> We'd like to develop a gambling addiction, starting now. Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town. But I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday. So you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? The name's Steak Charm. Leonard Steak Charm. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. Oh, 10 million. That's the price How'd that we need to get for the... By cheating? Look, Rabbit. Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. what it was, but it was 10 million. that good. Dollars. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. What the hell is Indian poker? How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You ever consider that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. And you make a bet if you think you got the higher card, or cold if you want out. That's it? Yep. And we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. Does the carpet match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid, yet candid. Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. I just realized, uh, by putting that ace card over the shiny red nose, he can't see our card, I'm guessing. We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. Ah, hey, let's keep you the card up there then, I guess. <laughs> By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. You that do any fair. funny stuff and I'll shoot you, sir. I've got a gun also. Oh, shit, he's got an ace. That's a four. I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, coach. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. 
Just bet one token, and you could win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, Deputy Dog, because I never lose. <laughs> so, in or out. Okay, let's go, let's go. I'll sell Max sure, if I have we'll to. A token. Oh, got ten. Fuckers. <laughs> Sorry, Fido. You lose. The dog wins. What? I, you, you cheated me! What are you talking about, Leonard? How did we cheat? You... Pay up, stick trauma. Mama, why weren't you watching over me? I'm ruined. <laughs> let's go. Ten million. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Yeah, let's go see if we can play Whack the Rats ten million times in a row without passing out. No, no, he said something it was, uh, I remember I was thinking in my head, Ekute, when he's listening, I, I hear. So it was something to do with listening, hearing. Some sort of device that lets you hear. Let's remember now, right? Uh, for 10 million. I was thinking in French. Ekute. I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, right. Oh, we have another be... password. What again? Why don't you tell me? Does the carpet match the drapes? Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. I set fire to the drapes. I love to watch things burn. Hey, me too! I'm sorry I asked. Okay, that's on the password. The password is... Swordfish. Nope. Okay, we'll we're done on the password. Like I care. Oh, wow, rude. How are you going to keep your customers back? What sort of customer service is that? A one-armed bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known I'm really bad at slot machines. Machine. Like in I games, I just don't know how to do them. Stack old tokens. Rubber ducky. It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. Mm -hmm. Let's go buy that uh, device. Out of all the ace that we use, we're going to use it for like a uh, blackjack or something. You know, it's an ace, so you can easily swap a card out somehow. <coughs> or poker, so. But. Uh, I guess the ace was just stopping from cheating. Okay, bonjour, Monsieur Boscol.